Hello gorgeous souls and welcome back to my channel. It is so bright out here, but if you can't already tell, we made it to Santorini. We just got in actually yesterday via ferry. We went from Mykonos to Santorini via ferry. Check out this view though. I want to give you guys a tour right now because although the room is cool and all it is this view and this outdoor deck that i'm so excited to show you but why not give you the full tour we have our bed with some romance vibes we have more romance vibes going on over here but let me just show you the view even from the bed Out this view from the freaking shower holy crap welcome to our deck here in Santorini so Brennan's already made himself at home this is if you turn left here is one part of the caldera you guys can see, look at that blue ass water. It is so beautiful. Check this out. We have a pool right here. It's a nice heated pool. Look at this view. Look at this view, guys. Oh my God. Okay, so we're going cliff jumping and we can literally see where people cliff jump from our room. This is our dose of adrenaline on this very calm, serene, low cortisol location. We're gonna inject a little adrenaline into us. Catherine showed me this Oh, I like your shorts. Thank you. I think these shorts. Stylish McGee. Okay, okur, okur. 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 Brr, brr. Your manifestation of Sisterhood of Traveling Pants, this is where they jump off the in rocks. In the second movie. Wait, no, that's the first movie. That's the second that's movie. That's the first movie. I know that, what's his name? Mustakas or Mustafas or Kostas? Kostas. Kostas, I know he's on that. She's laughing, but she knows I'm right. No good travel vlog is complete without a nice walk in the hot sun, soaking wet with sweat, right?
on appetite. Yeah, I like. together because we're finally going on a boat and we're doing a shoot on the boat. Who got the boat shoes? Boat shoes! We're taking a boat to a boat to another boat. <laughs> In case you ever want to live on a boat, there's a bedroom down here, a bathroom, and then she just showed me that there's actually a storage down here. Super cute! <laughs> So upset right now. <laughs> we just lost a drone in the ocean. First two minutes that we popped it up in the air, we thought we we're gonna get these amazing shots on the boat. What actually happened is a fucking sailboat ran into it. Ran into it. Like a he drove the fucking sailboat into the drone. It wasn't like I was like pulling some Star Wars like drone pod shit. Sometimes things happen and drone falls in the ocean and I'm being super emotional about it, not because I care about the drone, it's really because I'm PMSing right now. And so we just really want to show you guys the realities of, um, just the realities of life and like how things don't always go your way. And I know these are so, such like first world problems. <laughs> You're probably like, Catherine, why are you crying? But Truly, I'm being super hormonal right now, and I just want to show you guys that Instagram, YouTube, whatever you guys see shows a version of the story, but then there's a whole human being behind the camera, right? So this is real life, and we're gonna get past it now, and at least we have our camera, we have our vlog camera, we still have each other, we have everything that makes life so beautiful. So we're gonna go swimming right now, and just fuck the photos, fuck the footage, let's just have fun. decided to change into something super comfy, so I'm literally in sweatpants now. My kind of vibe. And they're actually preparing dinner for us, so that comes included with the Ia Sunset 4-hour tour. So you get to ride around, you get to swim, and they cook for you.
Okay, can we just talk about the fact that I cried today over a drone? I don't even care about the drone. I don't even care about anything that happened. That just goes to show you how real hormones are because right now I feel so happy. <laughs> it's so good. It's like the mood swings are just so real. It's just... Good morning on day, what is the day? Day three of Santorini? Day four? Day two? What is it? I don't know, but I just slept for 10 hours. We have been pretty lazy here in Santorini, but I think it's because we were not lazy in Mykonos. Well, it's also like a vacation too, so we don't try to do everything. In the past, when we've had a different mindset, we call it the buffet mindset. Yes. It's like, this will never happen again. I don't know the next time this is gonna happen again, so I need to eat it all right now. And I've just developed this mindset, like I made this choice. Treat everything as if you can always come back and then you'll actually yeah. enjoy it. So you're not yeah. gonna exhaust yourself trying to see the whole island in one day or two days or however long you're there. You can actually be like, okay, what do I wanna see for my first time? Because what you're doing is you're also manifesting a return. So I already know what we're gonna do next time, but for now, all I wanted was just to have epic sunsets in Ia, for us to relax, walk around the windy roads, take some pictures, and just eat some good food. So we just booked like a dream photo shoot with this company called Santorini Dress here. And basically what happens is you put on these gorgeous gowns. You have a photographer and then you have their assistant grabbing the dress and making it flap and fly in the wind and making it look like you're a freaking goddess. The makeup artist is arriving, it's actually a hair and makeup artist, is arriving at 2 p.m. and makeup is done. This is probably my most favorite hair and makeup look. It's like natural, but there's some volume in the hair. Then it's like a mix between glowy and matte. I got to keep my lash extensions in. Somehow they stayed on through the whole eye makeup process. Julia from Santorini Dress did such an amazing job. Honestly, I'm so impressed. And now we are waiting for the photographer to show up with their assistant. I'm gonna put on my dresses and we're gonna head out into the scorching heat. We are on our balcony, flying the dress from a precarious position for some excellent, excellent photos. Sweaty, my muscles hurt, but I think that was a successful shoot. Santorini was a time for us to recoup our energy. We decided that, I mean, we unconsciously decided, like, it's not like we actually talked about this, but it just turned into us never leaving Ia. And a lot of people are like, you guys need to go here and there. And I'm like, honestly, no. I know I'm gonna be back. So yeah, I don't regret it one bit that we just spent a lot of time at our hotel room. We just ate, relaxed, chilled. And so we'll just come back. Next time we come here, I'm definitely gonna get you drunk because we're gonna need to drink more wine. <laughs> Speaking of wine.
this is gonna be the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed our beautiful vacation in Santorini. Hopefully it inspired you to check out this beautiful island here in Greece. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my content, turn on the notification bell to be the first one to know when I upload a new video. And I, I will see you guys in the next island of Crete here in Greece. Mwah. Bye.